Hey, welcome back to Mrs. O'Gram's Math. So it's a gorgeous day for the spring holidays at the moment. We're down at the beach and I just had an idea of doing one of my videos down here as something a little bit different. So I'll just show you gorgeous surroundings and of course what else would you want to do on the beach than a little bit of maths. So I'm going to take you through the acronyms for remembering how to um, how to know when you should use the binomial distribution or the Poisson distribution and apply it in context. We're going to start with the binomial distribution, which you can remember with the acronym FIST. F-I-S-T, I'll take you through in a moment. But first of all, um, how to remember that FIST um, links with binomial is that if you take a little look at my amazing drawing there of a bicep, you flex your bicep when you make a fist, so it's for the binomial distribution. So F is for a fixed number of trials. So if you have something like the number of threes that you roll when you roll a dice 10 times, you're, you've got a fixed number of trials there. There are 10 rolls of that dice. The I is that they are independent. Each roll of the dice is independent of each other. So getting a three on one of them doesn't affect any of the other 10. S is that the probability of success remains constant. Um, so there's always the same chance of getting that three. And T is there are two outcomes you can term as success or failure. Um, so either getting that three or not. That brings us to the Poisson distribution. Now the acronym you'll need for this is RIPS, R-I-P-S. And you're going to remember that because Poisson is the French word for fish. And in Lord of the Rings, Gollum has a scene where he rips apart a fish and talks about this juicy fish that he wants to eat. So that's RIPS. So the R is for the events occur randomly through an interval of space or time. For example, this could be the number of shells that I find as I walk in a straight line along the beach. Maybe I know that on average there are three shells for every metre that I walk. The I is for independent, again the same as the I on fist. The um, occurrence of shells occur independently, so one shell turning up in a metre stretch doesn't affect the chances of another shell turning up. P is that that probability of those shells turning up is proportional. So if I walked along a metre and I expect to find three shells in a metre, if I walked for two metres I would expect to find six shells. And if I walked along a stretch that was three metres long, I would expect to find nine shells. So that proportion um, just gets multiplied up for the size of the interval. And S is for singly, that um, events can only occur one at a time. So those shells just appear one off. They're not layered up in multiple levels of shells, that um, each instance of a shell would occur one at a time. So I've got a few strange looks while I've been recording this, but it's worth it to help you guys out. So binomial fist, there it is listed out there. And Poisson, rips. Hopefully this will help you to remember how to know the difference between the two and when you should apply them. You could get asked questions on that and have to explain it in context. So be ready for that. Good luck. Hope your exams go well. And if this video helped you, just help me out and hit that subscribe button. Thanks.